All right, so now we've brought our samples inside. Here they are, we have 10 canes with 10 buds on each one, so we have 100 buds total. And we actually collected these samples yesterday. The reason we did that is we wanted to bring the canes in and let them warm up. Generally, you want to do that for about 24 to 48 hours before you start cutting the buds to see if there's any injury. And the reason you want to do that is that when the temperatures come up, the buds that have any injury will start to desiccate, meaning that they'll start to turn brown or black, and so you're actually able to see whether the bud is alive or dead. If you have a nice bright green bud, it's alive. If it's kind of olive green or brown or black, it's dead. So we're going to start with our first cane, and we're going to start with a basal bud on the cane, so the bud that's closest to where the fruiting wire was. And as I said, we'll just cut right across the bud in a cross section, and it's facing away from the camera a little bit. But if I tilt this up a little bit, maybe you can see a little bit better. We're just making cross sections. So you can see in this bud that we've cut, right here in the middle, this is the primary bud, and it's alive, nice green color here. So we would count this as one live bud. If this was kind of brownish all the way through, or even black, we would say that that bud is dead. So here's a bud that looks like it probably hasn't made it. You can see it's very tip of it, no green showing. As we cut down, there's no green still. This is all, it looks uh, not just brown, but very dried out. And honestly, it's because this is a one-year-old cane that's been sitting inside for a while. Uh, so it's probably as much dried out as anything. But we wanted to be able to show you just what a dead bud looks like. So you can just see that there's no green in here at all. All very brown. So a bud that we would have brought in that had been injured would look similar to this. So that's seven live buds. Number eight is live. Number nine looks good. And this is actually a really nice example. You can see both the primary bud and the top of the secondary bud right there. You can see that they're both, primary bud especially is nice and green. So nine live buds so far. And 10. So on this first cane, we've had no dead buds. So we have 0% injury so far. Okay, so we finished cutting our buds and we found out there's about 11%, 10 to 11% of damage on the bud samples that we took. So now here in the Finger Lakes and probably some other, a lot of other cold climate areas, that's about normal. You normally expect about seven to 10% bud damage uh, on more sensitive varieties. And given that, you probably don't need to make too much adjustment then in the number of buds that you leave when you're pruning. If you start getting up above 15 to 20 percent, you need to start thinking about adding some more buds, perhaps a bit of a longer cane or something like that. If you get up towards 50 percent, you need to think about coming close to even doubling the number of buds that you're leaving. If you go much above 50 percent, you almost need to start thinking about looking at some kind of minimal pruning, where you just do a basic cleanup um, and not probably spend a whole lot of money on your pruning system just because you're probably not going to have a whole lot of crop. If you're leaving that many buds, the challenge is going to be then doing some extra, having to do some extra canopy management during the year. So be aware of that if you have to take that step. So the whole point of this exercise, uh, as I said, was to try to figure out how many buds you should leave in order to have close to a normal crop, depending on how much winter injury you've had. In a cold climate area like this, this is something that's pretty important to do, especially on varieties that tend to be right on the edge of whether or not they uh, survive our winters. If you have a particularly cold episode, um, this is a really important thing to do in order to make sure that you're, vine you're leaving enough buds on your vines in order to have a crop for the next year. So if you have any questions about this, please give us a call uh, and good luck with your pruning this winter.